Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you all are doing extremely fine. My name is Prince and you are watching the Tech Stream. In this video, I am going to give you a walkthrough of Oxygen OS 12 and I'll share the six best feature or changes of Oxygen OS 12 closed beta. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. If we go into the about section, you can see I've installed Oxygen OS 12 closed beta. The build version is C.06, the Android version is 12 and the Android security patch is 5th December 2021, which means it's an old build. The build was leaked in December and, and for that reason, I am not going to make a installation video on this one. We will suggest everyone to wait for the official open beta builds. The first feature that I really like about Oxygen OS 12 is its personalization section. Oxygen OS 12 has got new customization options from Color OS 12. If you go into personalization section in settings, you get tons of options to choose from. You can play around with icon settings and here you can select art plus icons which gives the icon a 3D look. Under the theme, you have tons and tons of themes to choose from. I personally keep the default one. After that, you can also change the icon shapes of quick settings icon. Coming back to personalization settings, we have then options for fingerprint animations and you get 8 types of animations to choose from. And finally, we have edge lighting or horizon lighting. Next we get the new privacy features from Android 12 which includes showing a green dot if an app uses camera, microphone or location on your device. Privacy dashboard has also been integrated and it now shows all the apps that use camera, mic or location. Apart from that, you can now also revoke mic and camera access for all apps on your device using the new QR styles. Very neat. Finally, you can now also choose whether you want to give an approximate or precise location to an app. So most of the apps will work with your approximate location and only apps like Zomato, Google Maps will use your precise location. Moving on to one of my favorite features, the enhanced dark mode. Now with Oxygen OS 12, you can choose between three types of dark mode. Enhanced, Medium and Gentle. Gentle and Medium are a little dark grey, while the Enhanced one is pitch black and it looks amazing on AMOLED panels. Adding to this, you also get Adaptive Contrast which automatically adjusts screen color contrast according to lighting conditions. Coming to the battery menu, the battery is also now optimized and much more efficient than Oxygen OS 11. You can now get recommendation options to save battery and this is a very handy way to know which feature is actually draining your battery and how much battery and how much battery can you save by disabling a specific specific feature. Apart from this, we also have a super power saving mode and some advanced settings to save battery. And I genuinely feel the battery has been improved as I am getting 7 to 8 hours of screen on time on my OnePlus 8T. Moving on, another thing that I really like is this revamped shelf of Oxygen OS 12. Now you can access the shelf by swiping down from the top right corner and each and every widget here has been redesigned and honestly it looks very good. It is very compact, small and shows a lot of information. And also it looks very clean and simple overall. Apart from this, Oxygen OS 12 comes baked in with so many features like new one-handed mode from Android 12 and it is very well implemented. It feels so smooth and very fluid with the animations. We also have a special features menu where you get options like quick launch, screenshot, gestures, etc. Oxygen OS 12 just comes loaded with a plethora of features and each of them is so well implemented. But we don't have a stable or even open beta of Oxygen OS 12 for OnePlus 8 series even though they released a closed beta in December and I just hope it gets released soon. That's all for this video. Hopefully you liked the video. Smash the like button if you did. Thank you for watching.